If you don't want to see anything stressful, please don't watch this video. So one early spring day, I was out walking with my dog, Ava. Unbeknownst to us, a mama bear, who I call Sadie, was foraging very nearby with her cubs. Ava usually lets me know if she senses an animal's nearby. But the air was really calm that day, and so was she. So I wasn't all that concerned when she walked ahead of me a few paces as I stopped to check on one of my cameras. Suddenly, I heard this strange distress call coming from the direction of where Ava had gone. It sounded like a baby goat. <coughs> but we don't have any goats. That's when it dawned on me that the sound was coming from a tiny bear cub. I knew we were in big trouble. I went back and forth about whether to post this footage, but I thought it was an important experience, so I finally opted to share. For me, as a trail camera enthusiast, this was probably a once-in-a-lifetime capture. At least I hope it was. It was the first time in over 20 years of walking these mountains that something like this had ever happened to me. I managed to capture most of the encounter on video. Everything turned out just fine, you'll see. But this was Mama Bear Sadie's very first litter of cubs, so she wasn't very experienced as a mama when this encounter took place. You'll see in this video how she becomes aware that we were nearby, but she took a little too long to leave the area. I'm sure she'd be a lot faster about leaving these days. My dog Ava is an Australian Shepherd. She needs to run and get her exercise, so I don't always have her on leash. Since Ava is a herding breed, it looked more to me like she was trying to herd the little bear cub rather than hurt it. She actually looked a little bewildered by the cub once she finally caught up with it. You'll get to see that too. Thankfully, Ava is pretty great with recall. Of course, the mama bear helped expedite Ava's return to me right up to my feet. For what it's worth, that little bear cub was having serious balance issues at the time. She outgrew her instability really quickly and became a strong and sturdy little cub very soon after this encounter. So here comes the stressful bit. Now is your last chance to skip on to something a little less stressful. Almost the entire episode played out down the hill for me and around the corner, completely out of sight. I didn't know if Ava could hear me or if she had already started coming back. That's why I kept calling her and yelling, come, until I was suddenly facing a very irate mama bear, at which point I began to yell, go, instead. <laughs> oh, man. Typically, my bear encounters are from a much greater distance than this. Uh, those sightings are much calmer and more emotionally rewarding. I can just stay quiet and give the bears all the space that they need to run to safety. Bears will almost always try to avoid any confrontation with humans. Even on this day, Sadie wasn't being confrontational at all. It was my dog who was the one being confrontational. Sadie was just being a really good mama bear by protecting her cubs. So the mama bear continued escorting her cubs to safety. Meanwhile, I began the walk back home away from the bears with Ava on leash.
Here's a repeat of that same encounter, but this time I'm going to play it in slow motion. I'm so grateful for the happy ending, especially after that incredibly tense split second when Sadie was up on her hind legs and we were face to face and literally within arm's reach of one another. Sadie saw me secure Ava's collar, so that probably helped. She was also very familiar with my scent after two years on the mountain, so that may have helped diffuse the situation too. As you can see here, Sadie felt quite comfortable returning to her home with her family, even after such a stressful encounter. They returned repeatedly to forage and play all over the mountain, and in front of my cameras too. I may just be projecting here, but I'm pretty sure Sadie knows that we meant her no harm. I like to think that anyway. So Ava and I are back to wearing the bear bells whenever we walk the trails during the warmer months when the bears are more likely to be out and about. Now it sounds like a celebration whenever we take a walk together. Want to go for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> 